So you've decided you want to get started in cybersecurity. Well, CompTIA Security Plus is the first security certification in a learner's path that establishes the fundamental knowledge required of, well, just about every entry level security role. Cert security Plus incorporates the best practices in hands on troubleshooting, ensuring candidates have practical security problem solving skills required to do things like assess the security posture of an enterprise environment and recommend and implement the appropriate security solutions, as well as monitoring and securing hybrid environments today, including things like the cloud, mobile, and IoT. Operate with an awareness of applicable laws and policies, including the principles of governance, risk, and compliance, as well as identifying and analyzing, responding to security events and incidences. Let's take a look at the exam details, and we're on CompTIA's website for Security Plus, and we'll go ahead and we'll put the links in the description below so that you can follow along as well. You're going to see that there are two currently, as of 2021, here in January, two versions of the exam. You're going to see one that was released around three years ago, and that is the SY0501, and one that was released November 12th of 2020. That's the current exam objective. That's the SY0601. Now, for the most part, both of the exam objectives are largely the same. However, one of the new things that you'll see in the SY0601 uh, exam is more of that being able to identify the security posture of an enterprise level environment or network. The other thing that's kind of new is the fact that since there's more push towards this hybridized type environment today, including things like cloud, mobile, and IoT, you're going to see an increased focus on those concepts. Now, it's important important, some people will ask, what, which one should I take? Well, I'll give you a piece of advice for that. If you are close to basically taking your test and you think you could sit the test within, let's say, a few weeks, well, then you're probably ready to take the 501. Now, if you don't think that you're going to be ready by the retirement date, and if we scroll down here, we can see that the retirement date for the 501 is going to be in July or on July 31st, uh, 2021. If that time is rapidly approaching and you don't feel like you're ready for the exam, don't worry. That's okay. Again, the large portion of the objectives have stayed the same. Just go ahead, switch over to the objectives and look at those newer concepts that weren't in the previous 501 then that'll give you more time to be able to sit, pass, and take your Security Plus certification exam. So now that you've seen a little bit of the differences between the earlier 501 objectives and the newer 601 objectives, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the 601 objectives and learn a little bit about the exam and what we can expect out of the domains. Now, right here on CompTIA's website, you can see that there is a place to go ahead and download the exam objectives, and all you have to do is fill in the information, and you can download a PDF. Now, I went ahead uh, ahead of time and already downloaded these objectives so that you can see them here. Now, you can see the exam details, the exam, uh, the required exam for the Security Plus certification. Again, that's the SY0601. We can also see the maximum number of questions, which really is typical for just about all of your uh, CompTIA exams, and that's 90 questions. You'll also see that they're going to be multiple choice or performance based. So what does performance based mean? Well, that means they might give you something like a diagram and you have to drag and drop the appropriate security solutions to the right place in order to get the question right. You might even see where you see an interface and you might have to perform some kind of interactive simulation in order to pass this question. Now, I also want you to understand too that you could have multiple answers as well. So what is the length of the test? Like we said, it's gonna be 90 minutes and you can see some of the recommended experience. However, I do want you to understand and focus on the recommended experience. You can always backfill this information too by hopping over to IT Pro TV's website and checking out our Security Plus course, which goes through these objectives. You can see that it's two years work experience in IT systems administration with a focus on security. And there are some hands-on technical information just in when it comes to information technology and that security uh, standpoint. Now, keep in mind, you can also do this in a lab environment, uh, which you have access to on IT Pro TV's website as well. And just a broad knowledge when it comes to the general and common security concepts. Notice that a passing score, passing score is 750, and that's CompTIA's measurement scale, if you will, from 100 to 900. Now, if we look at the domains and how they break down, 
you can see that they're structured a little bit different from the earlier objectives. And at this point, I want to make mention that if you were studying the 501 objectives, you can still download those. And I would encourage you, if you are one of those ones that have studied 501 and don't think you're going to be ready until after the retirement date, use both exam objective breakdowns to compare what you might have to backfill when it comes to the new objectives. But for the 601 objectives, we can see that we have about 24% in our first domain, and you can see a tax threat and vulnerabilities. And this is where we're going to talk about, uh, you know, what, what is the difference between a cross-side scripting attack? What is the difference between things like uh, session hijacking attacks, as well as some of the threats, threat actors that uh, are in the security or cybersecurity landscape, and then some of the vulnerabilities too. You'll see that architecture and design is 21% of your exam, as well as implementation. How do we implement some of the concepts that we've learned to protect our networks, to protect our information, if you will, as well as the operations and incident response likewise. Finally, there is going to be some focus because in cybersecurity it is about things like compliance, governance, risk, if you will, and you can see the last part of that's going to be 14%. So we have 24%, 21%, 25%, 16 and 14% for a 100% of the overall um, CompTIA Security Plus exam domains. So now that we know a little bit about what's on the exam, how do the domains break down? Let's talk about the exam itself and how you would go about taking it. So we're back over here on CompTIA's website and we're talking about US dollars. It's gonna be something, you know, whatever your local currency is, you can see it's 370 uh, you know, US dollars here. Now, there are a couple of links here that will let you uh, take you over to Pearson View. Pearson View is CompTIA's authorized testing vendor. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can use the testing center to find a traditional brick and mortar location. However, due to the fact that there is the pandemic that has gone on, uh, what they've also done is they've opened it up to online testing as well. And that is uh, something known as Pearson Views On View. And I went ahead and I'm going to show you the online testing platform or where you can, not the platform itself, but where you can go. So if we hop on over to CompTIA's On View, and if you need to get some exam information and what's going to be required of you, I would highly recommend bookmarking this site because it will walk you through what the technical requirements are as well as performing things like pre-exam system tests to ensure that the system that you're going to take the online exam is compatible with their software, as well as the rules in which you are required as an exam candidate uh, to abide by your ID. And it is important to understand too, and I want to kind of prepare you for this, make sure that you have all of this information. And when you go to sit your test after you've scheduled it from this website, make sure that you show up about a half hour to 45 minutes early, just given the quantity of exam candidates that OnView has uh, testing really on a daily basis. Any additional information, the testing policies, and then some questions as well, likewise contact information. All important, all information on how you can take this exam. If you want to do the brick and mortar way, well, guess what? You've got links on this website as well that you can go to find a location that is near to you as well. Remember to visit IT Pro TV for all the exciting Security Plus training. Good luck and thanks for watching.